G'day to everyone in Hanson Yunkin land. Pete Jensen here. Um, I had the privilege of delivering some safety leadership training with you a few years ago and also attending your conference. And uh, delighted to share my thoughts around the two questions, especially as I'm working now for a company called Larson Jensen, which is my business and specializing in well-being and happiness. So these questions are very, very real, given the time that we're going through. And uh, the first question I'd like to talk to is, what do you do when someone's not okay? So um, rather than give you advice, my suggestion is I'm going to give you two tips of what not to say. So the first tip is this, is not to say what's wrong with you or what's wrong, but rather ask what happens, what happened to you or what's happening. The reason for that is so many times people's behavior or mood could just be an emotional response to pain. And as soon as you ask someone what's wrong with you or what's wrong, that further accentuates the pain. So my suggestion really is to ask what's happening or uh, what happened to you. Second caution when someone's not okay or they answer the question that I'm not okay is definitely not to try and fix it. And this has been a big struggle and a challenge for me because we all like to paint a rosy picture, paint a happy ending, um, and try and fix the situation, but um, often that can just make it worse for people. Brene Brown talks a lot about this, and she says, rather than um, tell someone it's going to be okay, or say to them that their problem is actually not that bad because other people have got it worse, or even saying things like, look, I know you, you've got this, or I know you can deal with this, how do you know that they can deal with it? My advice in that situation is just to Show some empathy and go, you know what, that really sucks. I can't fix it for you right now, but what I can do is just sit with you and be here with you. The second question, and sorry if I'm referring to my notes, is uh, what do you do if you notice that someone's maybe just not traveling well? I'd like to share three little tips with you. The first one is um, things can be very overwhelming, especially at this time, but life in general. And often I just use a little phrase, just for today. What can you do just for today? You don't have to solve everything. You don't have to worry about, you know, the next two or three. Just for today, what could you do or what can you do? Um, the second thing is, again, people have got so many challenges. Um, often I use the phrase, what's the next best thing? So given where you are right now, given what's going on, what's the one next best thing that you could do and focus on and then you chunk things down into little steps as people move forward the third one is really and there's a lot of neuroscience that sits behind this is what are four questions that someone could ask themselves to help set them up for the best possible shot of success or of happiness and my personal story is that i went through depression and anxiety 12 years ago um, and nearly got to the end and took my life and Part of my recovery journey was to ask these four questions every single day, and I still do. Question number one is, what's gonna be my adventure today? Now, it could be something huge, or it could just be something small. But the brain can't differentiate between imagination and reality. So as you start thinking of your adventure, your whole being has a shift in it as it moves towards that happening. Sportsmen are all over this one. The second question is, what's a kindness I can do for somebody else? And who will it be? And again, neuroscience will tell you that as you make time for someone or do things for someone, not only do they get a huge uh, improvement in their oxytocin levels, which is a really good uh, chemical, but so do you. The third question is, what's the kindness I'm going to show to myself today? And it could be something as simple as having a cup of coffee, making some time out for yourself, uh, letting go of that to-do list that you got 90% of but just didn't finish, and cutting yourself a little bit of slack and giving yourself some permission. The fourth question is, what am I grateful for? Those four questions go a long way to shifting people's mood. And of course, with that comes the step towards uh, potentially having a much better day. So I trust this has been useful and uh, great to connect and hang out with uh, my Hanks and Yunkin peeps again. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.